Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new model in town called Interin LM3. It is an 8 billion parameter model designed for general purpose usage. Interin LM2 was also a good model, and I covered it as well. The model claims to have pretty great performance on reasoning and knowledge intensive tasks. And they also claim that the model surpasses Llama 3.18B and Quen 2.57B in benchmarks as well as usage. It also has a deep thinking mode for solving complicated reasoning tasks via the long chain of thought and the normal response mode for fluent user interactions. If we look at the benchmarks, then the model majorly beats all the other models in its range, like Llama 3.1 and Quen 2.57b, and even GPT-4 O-Mini, which is quite amazing to see. To use the advanced reasoning mode, you'll need to use a different prompt, which you'll find here. You can just put that in the system prompt where you use it, and it should work. Apart from this, the model is under the Apache 2.0 license, which is pretty great and is commercially usable as well. The model is available on Olama and Hugging Face as well. So, you can use it locally quite easily because it's only 8 billion parameters, which is quite good as well. But let's test it out as well and see how well it performs. Before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all in one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. Now, Let's get back to the video. So, these are the 13 questions that I'm going to test it against. The first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Lia. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer should be something like Australia and Canberra. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. So, this is correct. Let's mark this as a pass. Now, the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, write a haiku where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. Let's send it and see. Okay so it isn't correct. Let's mark this as a fail. The next one is, name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this is a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and check. This is the answer, and it's correct. Let's mark it as a pass. The next one is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? 
The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's give this a pass. Now, the next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Now here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's mark it as well. The next one is, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and it gave me the solution for both the short diagonal as well as long. So, that's great, and this is also a pass. Let's mark it as well. Now, the next question is, create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and check. Here's the code, and if we run it, you can see that this doesn't work at all. So, this is a fail. The next question is, create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, it works well and produces the correct sound. So, this is a pass. The next one is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if we preview this, then this doesn't work at all. So, let's mark it a fail. The next one is, create me a 3D circle that moves and loops endlessly in 3D space using HTML, CSS, JS. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. And if we run this, then this doesn't work, which is a bummer. So, let's keep this a fail. Now, the final question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the code. Let's copy and run it. Okay, this also doesn't work well. So, this is also a fail. Now, this is the final chart. So, the model isn't anything extraordinary. I mean, it is better than Llama 3.1 and Quen for sure. But it is not close to Phi 4 either, which is about 6 billion parameters more than this, but performs a lot better. So, if you are limited on resources and want to use exactly an 8B model, then this will be the best bet. And you can also use the system prompt for a longer chain of thoughts as well, which works well. I would have liked to have an even better performing model in this size, but it is not a very big leap, though still great to see, because we haven't gotten any good 8B models in the last few months. So, this is good. I believe this model has some potential for sure. Previously, the InterNLM models used to have a longer 1 million context window as well, but this doesn't have that either. But it's open source, and I'm sure that someone could RLHF fine-tune it and make it even better, especially in deep reasoning mode, where it's really good. So, this is a good launch for sure. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.